Good morning. Good morning. Happy second day of Christmas. It's wonderful to have you all with us here this morning. Um, I was potentially exposed to COVID on Wednesday, so I'm keeping this mask on. I took a test. I'm negative. I took a test this morning, but um, and I'm also not going to help give out communion just to keep things extra safe. So full disclosure, that's why I'm wearing this lovely N95 mask, and <laughs> we'll keep it on for the service. But I'm very glad to have all of you here with me this with us this morning, those of you in person and those of you online. And I hope that you are uh, know that you are always welcome here. Today we light all the candles for uh, as we continue to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. Let us pray. O holy child of Bethlehem, you are the hope for a hurting and broken world. We thank you for guiding us through this season and shining your light in the midst of our darkness. As your birth lit up the Bethlehem sky, continue to shine in our world by dispelling darkness, binding up the broken, and calling forth the faithful. Make us willing to welcome you as our Savior and Lord. We pray this in the name of our newborn King. Amen. Alleluia, for unto us a child is born. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. be with you. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord of glory, for the example of the first martyr, Stephen, who looked up to heaven and prayed for his persecutors to your son, Jesus Christ, who stands at your right hand, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Our first lesson is from Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, this word came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah that come to worship in the house of the Lord. Speak to them all the words that I command you do not hold back a word. It may be that they will listen, all of them, and will turn from their evil way, that I might change my mind about the disaster that I intend to bring on them because of their evil doings. You shall say to them, thus says the Lord, if you will not listen to me to walk in my law that I have set before you, and to heed the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send to you urgently, though you have not heeded, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and I will make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. And when Jeremiah... Jeremiah had finished speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people. Then the priest and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, 
you shall die. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord saying, this house shall be like Shiloh and this city shall be desolate without inhabitant. And all the people gathered around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people saying, it is the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and this city, all the words you have heard. Now, therefore, amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God. And the Lord will change his mind about the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, here I am in your hands. Do with me as seem good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will, you will bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and its inhabitants. For in truth, the Lord sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears. The word of the Lord. We will be reading Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. <clears throat> be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Our second reading is from Acts. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it is called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and those from Sicilia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, we heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, this man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Then the high priest asked him, are these things so? And Stephen replied, brothers and fathers, listen to me. You are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the son of man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. 
Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Jesus said, Therefore I send you prophets, sages, and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town, 
so that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Barak, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I tell you, all this will come upon this generation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as hens gather her brood under her wings, but you are not willing. See, your house is left to you, desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Moses. 
Sorry, the people online can't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Inter interruption. No, they want to hear you. You're doing great. I'm sorry to interrupt the service. <laughs> Okay. I just sold it. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway, um, oh, so um, they brought you before the same evening, and you know they made a whole bunch of lies about it. He preached against Moses in the temple. And uh, Stephen argued with him, and they had a uh, really hard time because uh, he had, he was filled with the spirit, and uh, he he basically told them that 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 they had always persecuted the, the prophets and uh, and done you know done harm to them and not accepted what they said, and uh, at that time his. It said stage show, uh, which was kind of a sign that someone had either had the Holy Spirit or or had spoken to God, just like uh, when Moses came down from Sinai and his face show. And, and uh, Stephen then said that he could look straight up in heaven and he saw uh, God and he saw Jesus uh, seated next to him. And that just made them crazy. They they, they couldn't couldn't take that, and so they took him out and, and they stoned him. And, and it says in Acts that there was a young man named Saul of Tarsus uh, who who kind of watched their coats. He didn't supposedly he didn't take take uh, part in the stoning, but he you know made sure that we took off of their coats while they just. You know, when you're stoning somebody, you have to take off your coat so you get a good swing, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, but as we know, Saul of Tarsus later become the beginning of the Apostle, the Apostle Paul. Uh, so that, that kind of came, came back on him later on. Uh, it was really hard for Paul to, uh, when he first got started, for people to accept him because they were afraid. You know, in, in, in reading that story from Acts, um, I was, this morning, uh, I was watching TV and uh, they were talking about the passing of Desmond Tutu, uh, Bishop of South Africa. And they showed a video of him breaking up a, a, an angry mob that was going to, to burn a man alive because they thought he was an apartheid uh, spy. And they showed Desmond going into the crowd and, and stopping it. And this person in the crowd is saving that man's life. And, uh, and Desmond was, he, he was responsible for a lot of the uh, of, uh, apartheid type in the repeal of South Africa. And he was just an amazing man. We more his passing. Jesus has been described as a combination of angels and believers. They can point the gospel and be the prayers of the people, do the confession, serve at the table, dismiss the congregation, and then they go out into the world and and, and become the face of the, of the church outside of the church building. And deacons do not serve the parish as the priest does. They serve the bishop and the court to her. That is why I may not uh, be able to serve and say, Stephen, that I'm not okay, but you don't know that. Uh, we are all called to our ministries, ordained or not, and all are equally important, whether our ministry is to be a bishop, a priest, a deacon, serve on the altar room, teach church school. Sing the choir, pull weeds on the ground, acolyte, be a daughter of the king, meet with the men's group in fellowship, 
that goes for home. Squeegee water from the basement floods. Pray for the needs of others. Build blood. Help a neighbor having a tough time. Give me good foot for a homeless person. Call a person back who is alone. Being kind to a stranger, even if that just means a kind of word. Any one of those things can change the world by changing a little piece of it for good. The thing that we can do, that we can do a small thing and later find out that a small thing is big for that person. In our last church uh, in Illinois, I taught church school for three or three and four year olds. Which my wife Barb said that was perfect for her to be on the same level. <laughs> and we had a little girl named Mary who came with her mother's boyfriend, Josh, by the way. Josh was Jewish and he didn't feel comfortable going to church with his girlfriend, so he decided to join Mary in our class so she wouldn't be afraid to be in a new place and he would stay. And he helped the kids with their art projects. Listen to the Bible stories that we read. Helped out with snacks. This one I stood for several months. And uh, Josh came to me one day and said that he had decided to get baptized and become a Christian. He was inspired by God's love and Jesus' life for a simple children's story. Uh, the thing is, you never know what effect that you will have by, by a simple thing that you do. That you perform with an act of ministry. So we all need to, to perform those small little simple acts because we never know what we're going to do. Um, Please rise and join with me in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the maker of heaven, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God, true God. We have not of one being with the Father, through him all things for me, for us, for our salvation, and our by the power of the Holy Spirit, who came and made the Father, the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious private, he suffered death from the Spirit. On the third day, he rose again. In the course of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again for his just living and death, and his kingdom will not be. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of heaven, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, and is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world is now. Amen. Prayers of the people. I ask for your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our bishops, for their get this gathering, and for all ministers and people. 
I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask for your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God. Pray that they may find and be found by God. I ask your prayers for the departed. Pray for those who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace of glorified Christ in our own day. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Are there birthdays or anniversaries that we can pray for today? In that case, may the peace of Christ be always with you. Cry to the Lord the honor of God's name, bring offerings and come to God's courts.